you missed one. You missed one. You missed out for justice. And quite honestly, as an aficionado, I'm a little insulted. A lot of people will say uh, marked for death. And, 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 and I would say that they are absolutely um, correct in thinking that it's a contender for the number one Steven Seagal film. He does go down to Jamaica. Uh, it even says on the back of the VHS that he studied the dark art of voodoo to prepare for the role. But I would say that uh, I, I, as, a, as, a, as someone who's really studied the man, uh, I would say that um, Out for Justice needs to be considered a contender for greatest Steven Seagal film of all time. This was the first movie in which he had gotten clearly overweight. Um, but he was not so overweight that he was embarrassed yet. Like he didn't quite acknowledge it yet. He was still wearing like sleeveless shirts. It, it had the famous scene where he went into the pool hall and 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 he and and um, for no reason just completely maimed and destroyed the lives of everybody in the pool hall. You know, uh, he had a he had a he had a cue ball and he put it in a in a rag, and he was just smashing people's teeth and then just walked out with no information, you know? Steven Seagal's genius lies in um, his misinterpretation of goodness, you know? Um, not, not his goodness. Um, and I think if you start watching for that, then you're on the right path to truly um, experiencing his genius. Motherfucker! Anybody seen Richie? I'm gonna say something, and, and it's not because I'm a partial owner of Frankel's, but it's the reason why I'm a partial owner of Frankel's is because it has the best pastrami in New York City. And there are other places that are more famous, uh, like Katz's, who earned their reputation and, and, and you know, who are a great group of people. Um, sorry, fellas, <laughs> new kids on the block. Uh, we're murdering your pastrami. And I know this because Killer Mike, I had to drag him kicking and screaming. Oh, in, <laughs> I had to drag him kicking and screaming into my into my deli because he was a, a you know, a devout fan of, of uh, uh, you know, of Cassius, which I understand, we all were. Um, and then we all grow up. It would be pho, fa, whatever you want to call it. People would say it differently. And then bon me. Especially being from New York, I try and explain this to Mike all the time. Like he doesn't get why I'm so in Asian food. But when you have a community that's so rich with Asian culture and, you know, like New York and, and, and a lot of port cities, you know, obviously that's huge out here as well. Whenever I come to Australia, I kind of go focus on the Asian food out here because I know it's incredible because you guys are that much closer to Asia. I put the bomb me in, 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 the, in the like top five sandwiches on earth. Anything that's on a like a fresh baguette you know, and with and it has hot sauce on it. You kind of gotta, kind of gotta give it to him. I, it's obvious. Dream Warriors is the greatest Nightmare on Elm Street film. The rainbow of 1980s cliche characters in it. You know what I mean? It had the black kid. You know who was like, I'm bad. You know, like it had like that. You know how everyone thought that in the 80s when you made a movie, like if there was a black dude, he was like Mr. T, basically. You know. But that was the one where, that was the cool one because everyone had superpowers, you know? It's cool that, that Freddy has superpowers, that's interesting, you know? It's fun watching people just get sliced up and fucked up and shit. That was the one where, um, where Freddy just started calling everyone bitch, like, all the time. <laughs> He'd be like, this is a nightmare, bitch! And, you know, and it'd be like, just a guy being cut. The second one was absolutely the number one most homoerotic. Um, if there was a contest, it's the most homoerotic horror film of all time, I think. You should check it out. It's, there's an incredibly awkward shower scene.